This week on the forum, Jay Thomas asked this question, is there an action to save or restore track volume? So he has an idea of the way to do this, but here's the scenario. I have a, something that's mixed pretty well. I want to hear the vocal more, so I raise the volume of the track. Oops, I like the original volume, and now I have to find it again or undo any work I've done. So I had a few suggestions. There's some more in the comments that uh, I thought were pretty good. I want to make a video about all of these different things, how you can use trim volume with Reaper for the situation of, I want more vocal, I want more bass, I want to have an alternate mix and easily go back. So I've got a project here and I'll just play a little bit of it. What I might want to do here is change the volume of the bass. Let's say my volume here is fine, but yeah, maybe render out a version that is a couple dB louder or a couple dB quieter. You know, whatever the situation is, this could be any instrument, this could be multiple things that you're changing in a mix, but you want to get back to this point. So what I wanted to suggest first was using the audition function in Reaper. So when you're playing back a track and you hold down the alt key and you drag the volume, so let, let's open up the mixer. So here's my bass volume. If I hold down the option key, I can move this around. And when I let go of the mouse, it jumps back. So this is a good way of auditioning a level change, but it doesn't keep it unless you want to keep it. So I'll just show you that during playback. And if I don't want to keep it, I can just let go. And it goes back to that setting. If I want to keep that setting, I just let go of Alt, and then it's going to stay where, wherever I leave my mouse. So that's auditioning, and but that's just a temporary thing while you're holding that button. The next option would be to use just a simple gain plugin. So if we search the effects browser for volume, and we go to volume adjustment, utility, or any of these volume adjustment ones, so this is just a plugin that goes on the track and we can make a volume adjustment. So I've got a minus three volume adjustment there. I can just bypass this quickly to hear it with and without that 3 dB volume change. Or any volume adjustment I want. I can put this anywhere. Now the other benefit of this is I can put this anywhere in the effects chain. I can put this before any other processing or at the very end, which is essentially the same as changing the track fader. So the great thing is you can put this plugin anywhere in the effects chain um, and hear what that change does, whether it's before EQ and compression or after, it makes a difference and it may be something you want to experiment with. So there's two ways. The third way was to use the trim volume envelope. And a lot of people miss this, I think. So I'm not talking about the trim read mode, but actually trim volume. So if you right click on that mode button, you can bring up the trim volume. So this is a special volume envelope. I'll show you the regular volume envelope as well. So the shortcut for volume envelope is V by default. And so this is a volume envelope, which is essentially the same as where your, where your fader is, if you're in read mode or latch or whatever. So you can have some volume changes here you can also augment that using the trim volume envelope. Unarm this, then this control becomes editable. And I can do a flat change here. 1.4 is, is where the trim volume is. So this is added to this volume. So my track volume is at minus 6.82. I'm adjusting that by minus 1.4. And here's the result. and I can bypass that. And if I like it better, I can actually go into the action list. Let me go for trim volume, apply trim volume envelope and clear trim envelope, or apply volume envelope to trim envelope, clear volume envelope, or swap volume envelope and trim envelope. These are features that was added in Reaper 5.2, and a lot of people miss these. And because it's an envelope, you can do more than just a flat change. So you can use that, that little knob there to do a flat change, but you can have it like 
adjusting just for the verse and just have this little change that you can audition, you can render it that way, or you can, you know, merge them. So let's do this. First of all, swap volume and trim envelope. So that's changed those two. N now you can see the volume is at w minus 1.4 and the trim is at minus 6.82. This is not going to make a difference in the sound, but it allows you to do things like automate. You can have the volume fader automatable, but the trim volume is more of like a manual adjustment. It's a trim to that. Trim volume is not a parameter that goes to control surfaces, for example. So let's say we do like that. We can apply the trim volume envelope to the volume envelope and then clear the trim envelope. So as I run this, the second lane is going to disappear and the combined levels will be merged. And there we go. So now it's at 8.22 and I can undo that. Trim volume envelope, it's kind of a hidden feature, but it's, it's very powerful and it was added specifically for this purpose of having volume changes without adjusting your existing track automation and giving you ways to merge, swap, bypass, all these things. Fantastic feature. We're still not done. There's another way that we can do this that I would recommend. And that's SWS snapshots. So let's go to the extensions menu. If you have SWS installed, go to snapshots and we can do a single track or the entire mix. Let's do just this current track. So I'm going to do custom. Let's uncheck everything except for volume, but this could be anything. Like if you want to change, if you want to addition different effects chains and have be able to come back to things, it's very cool. So I'm going to hit new with these settings and we'll call this volume one and we'll make an adjustment to the volume. I'll just actually remove that so that we can adjust this in real time. So it was at minus 6.2, no. <laughs> it looks like it, it's at that swapped level. So we'll say minus six, uh, and I'm gonna update that. Overwrite snapshot. And now let's try this at minus eight. So a second volume adjustment, and I'm gonna hit new, and there we go. By clicking on this, in the snapshots window, I can audition these two levels. Go here, let's zoom in, and you can be able to see the fader move. And this will work during playback. But snapshots do a lot more than just volume saving. You can adjust all of your effects, you can swap the order, put in different things, you can change sends. Pretty much every track parameter can be saved and recalled here and you can do it for the entire mix as well. Snapshots, another good way to manage this. That was like four or five different methods and uh, hopefully now you have some options. Different methods have slightly different results maybe, different features, different things that you might like to do. And so knowing all these different ways allows you to mix more effectively. Different situations call for different strategies. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, support the Reaper blog through Patreon, visit reaper.blog for more tutorials.